I have a few questions for you. Okay. Uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, answer them. Sure. Pleasure. So, my first question is, why do all of the characters in Phineas and Ferb have four fingers? Because we don't want to have to draw that fifth finger. That was a, that was a decision that uh, that Walt Disney made years and years ago. That 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 cartoon characters would would look uh, their, their hands wouldn't look as crowded, and they wouldn't have to draw so much if they made ca most cartoon characters have, th have uh, four fingers instead of five. But they also get he found that he found that with three fingers and a thumb you can get just as much expression as you can with four, and it's easier to do. That's really interesting. Uh, I never thought of that before. I've always wondered why all the cartoons had the Somebody once figured out how many hour man hours of work Walt Disney had uh, had saved by making that decision, and it was it was thousands and thousands and thousands of, of hours of work it would take just to draw that extra finger on all those hundreds of thousands of, uh, of drawings. Uh, another thing is that uh, why, why does Candace always is so intent on busting her brothers and getting them in trouble without much uh, personal gain? This is the thing. Candace is all about fairness. She doesn't dislike her brothers and she, she doesn't want them to get hurt. She just really feels that if she were to do the same thing that they were doing, that she'd get in trouble. So it's really only fair that they should get in trouble too. Although Phineas and Ferb don't see what they're doing as being anything that they should get in trouble for. Mom always, you know, says before she leaves, be good. And they don't think building a roller coaster is being bad. They think it's just making the, the most of every day. What do you think? I don't think making a roller coaster is bad. If you, uh, would you want your kids to build a roller coaster while you're playing? Yes. No, I'd want them to do it safely. <laughs> Okay. All right. Also, well, how can Doofenshmirtz okay, make one. all of those interesting inventions and that uh, often defy the laws of physics uh, when, he, when normally he's not that smart at all? No, Doofenshmirtz is, is a genius when it comes to creating devices. He is an incredibly gifted, evil scientist. He falls down a little bit on the planning stages. That's where his problems are. He doesn't think it through to its logical conclusion. He's great with the machines and the mechanics and the devices. But when it comes to figuring out how to apply them and the nature of people and relationships, he's not very bright in that. Yes. That would be great. Project. I think we would be honored. Congratulations on everything you're doing. Maybe so. Yes, yeah, we would definitely like that. All right. Thank you.